guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tupo if you're new here welcome 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 please subscribe like comment give me a thumbs up guys today i'm going to show you these easy gorgeous jumbo box braids so if you guys want to see how i achieve this look please continue watching my hair is already washed and moisturized i'm going to be using my rat tail comb my shining jam my yarn yes we're using yarn instead of rubber band sis and as well as my scrunchies to achieve this look so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start sectioning my hair from ear to ear just a straight line exactly the way i'm doing i'm going to make sure the line is really nice and clean on the front right there all right guys so once i section my hair from ear to ear i'm going to start working with the front first so i'm going to section my line from my temple all the way to the middle right there exactly the way i'm doing so i'm just going to use my scrunchie to hold the hair just so you know i don't have to work twice my hair is really thick as you guys can see i don't pre-section my hair i'm going to have to be working twice it's okay i have about eight sections in my hair so i'm going to have eight braids this is the easiest time of braids that you can ever do since when i tell you it took me an hour to get myself all together so you better believe it you're about to be looking cute so i'm going to section one line in between my back exactly the way i'm doing and then i'm going to section three lines in the middle as well so together i I have a section sis okay so it doesn't have to be like really nice and straight or whatever it just has to be nice and decent you know what i'm saying you want to make sure the lines in the front are really nice and straight that way it looks cute well, i was still talking sis have you subscribed to my channel don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what juicy yes sis <laughs> So I'm going to be sectioning out the little yarn string that I'm about to use for one section. So this is the amount of yarn. You just got to make sure it's nice and long. I'm going to take my shining jam and then apply to my hair just to make sure the line is really nice and clean or whatever. And then I'm just going to take my baby hairs out of the way too, just so you know, I look all the way cute, <laughs> period. And then I'm just going to take my shining jam and apply it to the remaining of the hair just to make sure my scalp is really nice and clean. And then once I do that, I'm just gonna take my yarn, okay? The yarn that I sectioned out, I'm just gonna make sure uh, I have a, uh, a little piece on the top right there, and then the longer piece is on the bottom. And then I'm just going to start going round like I'm doing a knot or something like that. You know, I'm just gonna go round in a circular kind of motion, just exactly the way I'm doing. So just make sure you're nice and snug on the bottom, but not way too tight that you're gonna give yourself a headache or anything like that. As you guys can see, once I let it go, it is not going anywhere, it is not unraveling. So you're just going to take the little piece on the top and then you're going to go on the opposite direction and just tie a little knot, sis. Okay, so that's all you're going to do. And then you're going to cut the excess yarn using your scissors. Very, very easy. Very beginner friendly. Anybody can actually do this. All right, so I'm going to be using this 3X free trace braid this is 68 inches and i'm using two and a half packs for this look so it comes three in a pack so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take um the hair out exactly the way i'm doing take the little rubber band that it comes with off and then i'm just going to take my scrunchie and secure the hair so i'm using one little piece for one braid okay sis and then once i do that i'm just going to um separate my hair into two and give it a little tug that way i'm really nice and snug or whatever and then i'm taking a little bit more of the shine and jam and applying to the rest of my hair on the top anyway so i'm just going to take the braid and i'm going to place it on my hair okay so i'm going to be securing that little scrunchie like three or four times that way it is nice and secure and then once I flip it down, okay, I'm just going to take a little piece from the braiding here just to make sure I'm giving myself a little nice snug situation. That way I give myself a little base on the braid, sis, okay? Because you don't want your braid to be moving around. You want it to be really nice and secure. I'm going to be sectioning the braiding here into three, exactly the way I'm doing. I'm just gonna take my natural hair and put it in the middle strand, okay? So I'm tucking it in the middle strand and then I'm just gonna start braiding down. Exactly the way I'm saying, sis. Very, very easy, very beginner friendly. Anybody can actually do this. When I tell you this is easy, peasy, lemon squeezy, you better believe it, cause sister, anybody can actually do this. You can do this on your daughter. You can do this on your mom. You can do this on anybody. I wanted to give you some easy summer styles that you can do an hour and you are out of the door. Today's shout out goes to all my subscribers. Thank you guys 
thanks so much for subscribing. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for all the love. I really, really appreciate you. You guys are the real MVPs. I am nothing without you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs>
I'll take my Kiss Edge Fixer and make sure I lay these baby hairs using the brush that I got from where? Amazon. You already know what it is by now, okay? And then I'm going to be using my styling strips just to make sure everything is nice and situated. using this lid pouring it some water because i want to be able to touch the braid once i start burning it okay so i'm going to be using this lighter so i'm just going to start cutting the hair on the bottom where i have the knot tied okay so i'm going to go down a little bit so once i do that i'm just going to take my lighter and then i'm going to start burning the ends okay just make sure you are very very careful because you do not want to burn yourself sis so i'm just going to be holding a little bit of the water to make sure you know i don't burn my fingers okay that's the whole point Baby, when I tell you, these braids came all the way through. Yes, I am loving this jumbo bob braids. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying this technique right here. And you know me, I cannot be the accessorizing queen without adding some accessories. So I'm going to be adding this gold accessories, okay? I'm going to be adding it at the end where I have the little knot. And baby, when I tell you, it took the style all the way to boom, 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 100. Let me know if you guys are feeling it. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying this. Let me know if this is a hot summer style or whatever. Because I am feeling these braids right about now, sis. Okay. You know me. I got to give you a little styles here and there. Just put these braids up in a bun and then left one down. Just to make sure I'm giving myself a little um bum bum um boom. Okay. This is easy. This is so beginner friendly. I mean, I want my sisters to be able to do this in the summer and we are out at the door. Okay. I'm just gonna pull all the braids up and baby, when I tell you, I am filling myself and using the little bobby pins just to make sure I secure this, okay? All right, guys, my hair is already washed and moisturized. I'm going to be using my rat tail comb, my shine and jam, and my rubber bands to achieve this look. So what I'm going to do is I'll start by sectioning my hair from ear to ear, just a straight line, exactly the way I'm doing. And then once I'm done, I'm just gonna secure the hair in the back, and then I'm going to start sectioning the front first, okay? So that's what I'm doing right there, just securing the hair in the back. And then once I'm done, I'm just gonna section out the hair from the center of my head, exactly the way I'm doing. So I wanna make sure the middle part is really nice and straight and then i'm going to secure the rest of the hair away and then i'm going to section one side at a time i'm going to section out two equal parts on the side and then once i'm done i'm just going to take my rubber band and secure both sections and then i'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side sis okay so that's what i'm doing so together i have four sections on the top and then i'm going to start sectioning in the back if you have never tried any of this style sis you better try this one because sis when I tell you it is easy, you better believe me. So I'm going to take my rat tail comb again and then section one straight line from ear to ear again from the back right there. And then I'm going to section another four in the middle and then a three in the back, okay? So together I have 11 sections. So I'm going to take my hair clip and secure the rest of the hair away. So I already have these two braids on the side right here. So I'm going to show you exactly how I did those. So I'm going to take my rubber band off, the little rubber band that I was using to secure the hair with. And then I'm going to take my shine and jump, apply it to the hair. And then once I do that, I'm just going to take the same rubber band and secure my natural hair. So I'm going to be securing about four or five times, just enough that it is nice and snug, but not way too tight that I'm about to break my natural hair or anything like that. So I'm going to be using the crochet needle, the basic, basic crochet needle. I'm going to be using this expression here. This is the ultra braid. It, it's the 3X ultra braid. It is in color number one. It does come three in a pack. It is 52 inches and I'm going to be using two packs, okay? Just gonna take it out of the pack exactly the way I'm doing. It does come with the rubber band, so I'm taking that off and then I'm going to section that into two, okay? So I'm just gonna section that into two and then I'm going to section one of the pieces into a smaller piece and a bigger piece. That way, when I loop them around, I have a nice traditional braid. 
So together I have a bigger piece and a smaller piece. So I'm going to be taking that smaller piece first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my crochet needle, place it in exactly the way I'm doing. And then I'm going to take the smaller piece of the braiding here. I'm going to place it on the crochet hook, close the hook and then pull it out. And then once I pull it out, I'm going to make sure it is nice and equal on both sides. Okay. All right. So once I do that, I'm going to section my natural hair into two and then give it a little tug. I'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jam applied to my natural hair so that way it is easy to tuck in sis okay so i'm just gonna flip the braiding hair over and when i flip it you can already see that it is already nice and hiding the natural hair i'm going to take the bigger piece of the braiding hair place it on the top and then i'm just going to start braiding down as simple as a b c when i tell you it's the simplest easiest tutorial i've ever done believe me because this right here it takes me an hour and i am done from sectioning to braiding one hour and you are out of the door okay this is very very easy i only have about 11 braids in my hair so this is easy sis if you don't have time if you are running out of time or running out of ideas of what to do with your natural hair sis this is a very beautiful style that you can do so once i get to where i want the braid to stop i'm just going to take a little piece of the braiding hair from the side and then use that to secure it tie and knot I'm going to be tying about three times because these are thick braids the reason that i'm tying a little knot at the end is because i do not want them to unravel sis <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you guys again. So I'm just gonna take the little rubber band that it comes with off. I'm going to make sure I secure that very close to me because I'm going to be using the same rubber band to secure the hair, okay? So I'm going to take my shine and jump, apply it to the hair, making sure it is really nice and clean and juicy and sleek or whatever. All right, so I'm just gonna take the same rubber band and secure my natural hair. So I'm going to be securing about four or five times to make sure it is nice and snug, but not way too tight, sis. I wanna make sure that, you know, my crochet needle can go through I'm going to section out the hair into a bigger piece and a smaller piece and then i'm going to take my crochet needle place it in i'm going to take the smaller piece of the braiding hair i'm going to place it on the crochet hook close the hook and then pull it out and then once i pull it out i'm going to make sure it is nice and equal on both sides okay I'm just going to section my natural hair into two and then give it a little tug. So once I give it a little tug, I'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jam applied to my natural hair. It's going to flip the braiding hair over. And when I flip it, you can already see it is nice and hiding the natural hair. I'm going to take the bigger piece of the braiding hair, place it on the top, and then I'm just going to start braiding down. But why am I still talking, sis? Have you subscribed to my channel? Don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what? Juicy! Yes! <laughs> Today's shout out goes to Lucy's Kitchen. Thank you so much, sis, for supporting my channel. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for all the love. Make sure you check her videos, guys. She also has a YouTube channel. Make sure you check out my sister, Lucy's Kitchen. She does a little vlogging, cooking, and you know, a whole lot of stuff over there. So make sure you support my Malawian sister. All right. Take my shine and jump, apply it to the hair, and then use my rubber band to secure it. So this is for all my sisters who are beginners, who cannot braid, who are having a hard time securing the hair, you know, using the other rubber band method that I did, okay? This one right here is going to work as well because this one works for anybody who cannot grip the hair. If you're having a hard time gripping your natural hair, making sure it is looking really nice and sleek or whatever, do this technique right here since it is going to work out. You already know when my voice is this hyper it means what it means the style is easy peasy lemon squeezy and anybody can actually do this okay i'm going to take the bigger piece of the braiding hair place it on the top and then i'm just going to start braiding down <laughs> Make sure you try this. I want you guys to try it. I want you guys to come back and let me know if you have tried it on your sister, on your mama, on your cousin, on yourself. Make sure you let me know how this went, okay? This right here is going to save you time, money, and everything in 2023. I'm telling you, back to school braids are about to be lit. <laughs> Once I braid down to where the other braid is, I'm going to take a little piece of the braiding hair and tie that into a knot about three times. That way it is nice and secure. That way you know your girl is all Gucci, okay.
All right, so once I'm done braiding, I'm just gonna take my Kiss Edge Fixer and make sure I lay this baby hers using the brush that I got from where? You already know, okay? <laughs> At this point, you already know with these, right? It's gonna be laying these baby hairs. And then once I'm done, I'm just gonna take my styling strips and make sure everything is nice and laid and situated, all okay. right? Once I'm done, I'm just gonna take my mousse just to make sure all these braids are nice and secure. Nothing is flying, nothing is looking a hot mess. <laughs> I'm using this large gold accessories and I'm just gonna place them at the end of the braid where I have the little knot and I'm going to place that on each braid. <laughs> so let's spice this hairstyle up some more. So I'm going to be using this free trace braid. This is the curly hair, okay? I only have one of the pieces that's remaining from this pack. So I'm just gonna take it out and I'm just gonna use one, two strands from that pack. So I don't really have to use too much hair. So I'm going to take one of the strands and separate that into a couple pieces. Once I do that, I'm just gonna take my crochet needle, place it into the braid and then take my curly hair, place it on the hook, pull it out. And then once I pull it out, I'm going to be tying that into a knot about two times. That way it is nice and secure. That way it looks like, you know, when I was braiding, I was going through it and, you know, just securing this as I braided through. But you know, my sisters who cannot feed in or do, you know, that kind of technique, this is for you. So this is the easiest way you can get the boohoo braid kind of situation going on. So just take a crochet needle, place it in, take the curly hair, place it on the hook, pull it out and tie that into a knot. You can actually do this for back to school for your kids. You can actually do this um, method with big braids, small braids, medium braids. If you have never braided before, if you have never done any of my styles, sis, you better try this one right here. And I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut the remaining of the hair, the excess hair that's remaining from the braid. And then, you know, a little bit of the curly hair as well. That way it is nice and uniform. That way it looks really, really good. So that's all I'm doing. So I'm going to do the same exact thing on the back as well. And baby, when I tell you, this boohoo box braids came all the way through. Yes, sis, I am living for the length, for the size. I am living for this braids right about now. Let me know if you guys are feeling them. Let me know if you guys think this took Miss Tupo One, pregnant Miss Tupo One, all the way to boom, 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 100. Let me know if you guys are feeling this. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying this. Let me know if you guys think this is a hot summer style or whatever. Cause baby, at this point, I am feeling myself, okay? And you already know, I gotta give you a few ways you can rock this style. So I'm just gonna flip the hair all the way to the side and baby, when I tell you I'm feeling like a whole lot of money I'm telling you right about now I feel good, I look good I look good, I look like that <laughs> Yes girl, you already know when my voice is this hyper It means what? It means the style is easy peasy lemon squeezy And anybody can actually do this And you already know I gotta give you another style Let me just pull these two braids to the side And push everything else on top right there in a bun And baby, when I tell you I love this braid. I'm just gonna put the braids, all the braids in a bun and bear bear. They came all the way through as well. Let me know if you guys are feeling this. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying this. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for all the love. I cannot believe we are here today. Let's get to 1 million subscribers. Cause baby, at this point it is up from here. But make sure you're sharing these videos with your cousin, your bestie, your mama, and your aunt because sharing is caring and i will catch you guys in my next one bye